There comes a moment when you click on this and you click on that and the students see this thing that magically unfolds on the screen in front of them and it happens every time. It's a magic moment. They go, ooh. And they immediately lean forward and they start typing. So the start of the digital story game project really came out of a desire uh, that I and, and a graduate student here at IUP had to bring into English language arts classrooms, writing classrooms, storytelling through a digital platform, uh, in this case uh, an open source software named Twine. Uh, we did it mainly because it was fun, it was a way of promoting forms of writing that uh, were unusual, um, experimental, and felt very in line with 21st century skills. We don't teach people how to, to do twine. You can learn twine on your own in 10 minutes. What I love is when we sit down with a teacher and we say, hey, we've got this amazing tool that focuses on decision making as a learning process and as a storytelling focus. Where in your curriculum do you see decision making playing the most important role? It is vital that, that anybody be able to uh, think carefully, thoroughly, in complex ways about the choices that they face on a daily basis. It brings into play our ability to think about ethical dimensions of the choices we make. Um, so that combination of coding, storytelling, and decision making, that's really the, the cluster of 21st century skills that the Digital Story Game Project brings into K through 12 classrooms. I've been a teacher for, for 30 years, and part of being a teacher of writing is that students share their writing with me and they share it with each other. They really don't like to do that. It's not something they would do if they were given the choice, at least not most of them. But students who are creating interactive digital story games, they want to share. And when we see a teacher knowing that we're not just coming in to show them how to use a tool, which they've done so many times before, that we're there to support and collaborate with them. And then when we do the same thing with their students, and then we begin to see the knowledge come back at us in ways that we didn't expect, that's the best thing of all.